The communication tools needed to run a successful business keeps changing. At KKP Halifax, we're expanding our capabilities to keep pace. We deliver consistent high quality while meeting promised deadlines. KKP Halifax, a division of the Quick Copy Group of Companies. John Moore with Jonathan Pickram of the uh, Halifax Moose has drafted this past ever seventh round. Jonathan, congratulations. Uh, I know you didn't attend Shawinigan, but tell me a little bit about the excitement of the day. Uh, it was just something like uh, it really wouldn't uh, just uh, happen every day-to-day -day kind of thing. It was really special, especially to be drafted to the team that I grew up as a kid, just watching and like being a part of going to the Metro Centre Friday nights with the family and just watching and actually being uh, drafted and a part of that association was pretty unbelievable and it still is. You chose not to attend uh, the draft in Schoenigen. Uh There's a debate over whether you do or whether you don't. Why did you not go? Uh, nothing certain. Like you see the, not saying, the, you see the CSR scouting list, nothing certain. You see the first three rounds, like, yeah, those, those guys are going to go. Like they know. Uh, 14 hours away, it wasn't close, definitely not. Uh, so something that uh, I decided to stay home with my family, and uh, I did, and uh, wouldn't want to change that. It was good. You had an outstanding season, the second half of the Valley Wildcats. Uh, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, that, that, that season, that second half, and, and why you had the success you did. Uh, definitely my uh, the team was, uh, after the first half, we definitely matured as a group, and we knew that what we had to do to uh, bring the Valley Wildcats up and uh, make a name in the league. And uh, I think we did that. We uh, had a tough first series against Cole Harbor. Lots of overtimes, double overtimes. Unfortunately, we fell in the fifth or sixth game. I can't quite remember, but uh, it was a good series. Definitely could have gone either way. Well, Jonathan is actually a great, great kid off the ice. Um, he's a really hard worker. Um, and uh, he, he's uh, really uh, found his game this last year in the major midget season. He, he kind of slipped onto the Valley Wildcats a, a little a little late in the the, the preseason there, and uh, and uh, you know there just wasn't much room in the city, and and he got he really uh, developed uh, by Christmas time. He was uh, almost lights out in the league, um, really starting to steal some games and uh, battled really well, and and uh, yeah, just improving every day. Seeing uh, seeing a lot of good uh, things out of him. Of course, uh, 16 years of age. Uh... Do you have a sense as to what's possible? What's what's possible for the coming season? Is it is there a, perhaps a cue position? Yeah, I mean he's got a lot of uh, a lot of adjustment to do to get to the junior level. Um, he's going to probably be at uh, major junior camp, and he's also drafted by the uh, Wildcats Junior A. So he, he's got a couple camps coming up, and uh, I think he can handle handle uh, that level for sure. He's been facing a lot of uh, uh, pro and junior shots all summer. We're doing our best to prep prep him. Been doing a lot of vision training with him, a lot of hand work, and uh, a, a big uh, shift off the ice where he's grown so much. He's probably pushing uh, six three right now. Uh, I imagine he's gonna be like his brother and be around six four. So, so he's uh, he's growing quite a bit. So we're trying to physically get him stronger off the ice up at the gym. So we're doing a lot of off ice training this year too to get try and get that coordination and uh, balance back. So camps a little ways off yet. Tell me about the preparation uh, for, for camp and what your objectives are going to be heading in. Yeah, uh, definitely. I'm on the ice here uh, almost every day with my goalie coach, Jack Hardigan, and I'm at the gym pretty well every day, too, with my uh, strength and conditioning coach, uh, Robbie Shigeti. And uh, definitely going to be a big summer for myself going into training camp, bigger, stronger guys. Uh, it's definitely going to be a jump, but I think I'm ready for it, and I'm really excited. Your objective to, to, to crack, to find a spot in that lineup? Yeah, that's definitely the objective. I just want to go as far as I can in the camp and make a name for myself in the uh, Halifax Mooseheads organization.